Welcome dear viewers. On this video, I will show you how to prepare your computer to receive Windows 11 automatic upgrade or for manual installation for free. As shown in previous video, there are 8 basic requirements for Windows 11 which are, processor with 1 GHz or faster with 64 bits architecture, RAM with 4 GB or more, storage disk with 60 GB or more, firmware with UEFI and secure boot options, trusted platform module version 2, graphic card with DirectX 12 and WDDM2 driver, display with 720p or higher and internet connection with Microsoft account. If your computer meets these minimum requirements, then your computer is ready to automatically upgraded to Windows 11, but you may need to do some preparations in order for your PC to be upgraded. If one or more requirements are missing in your computer, you will learn on this video how to enable the missed requirement if available in your PC, or how to bypass its checking during installation if not available. The video is divided into four main parts as followings. How to enable UEFI and secure boot. How to enable trusted platform module, TPM. How to prepare supported computer to receive automatic upgrade. How to install Windows 11 in unsupported computers. First part, how to enable UEFI and secure boot. Type sysinfo into search box then open system information tool. If BIOS mode is UEFI with enabled secure boot, then you can skip this part of video to part number 2, but if BIOS mode is UEFI, but the secure boot is disabled, watch this part to the end to see how to enable it. If BIOS mode is legacy, you must convert the partition style of Windows disk from MBR to GPT in order to enable UEFI and then enable secure boot, because the secure boot is only available in UEFI mode, and the UEFI can't be enabled if the disk scheme is MBR. But before converting the disk from MBR to GPT, you have to check whether the computer supports the UEFI mode or not, because your computer will fail to boot from a GPT disk if it is not supporting the UEFI. Also converting partition style back to MBR will delete everything on the disk. How to check if your computer supports the UEFI boot mode. Power on the computer and press F2 key repeatedly to open BIOS settings. This is the list of common keys used to open BIOS settings for different brands for desktops, laptops, and notebooks. Use arrow keys from keyboards to navigate to boot panel or read the instructions from the bottom of BIOS settings. If there is an option to change boot mode to UEFI or EFI, then the firmware supports the GPT disk scheme. The boot mode settings may take another name or another path, however, the UEFI or EFI option should be the same if it's supported. If you change the boot mode to UEFI before conversion, all available MBR disks will disappear, and the computer will fail to boot with black screen error. So don't change it to UEFI until you convert the disk to GPT. Now, navigate to exit panel and select exit discarding change option to close BIOS menu and boot into Windows. How to convert the disk into GPT. Type CMD into search box. Right click on command prompt and select, run as administrator. Execute this command to convert the disk into GPT. MBR to GPT slash convert slash allow full OS. If the conversion failed, there is another video in description will show you how to determine and how to fix error source. How to change settings of BIOS firmware to boot in UEFI mode. Power on the PC then boot into BIOS menu as you have seen previously. Navigate to boot option and change boot mode to UEFI. Back to security tab and enable secure boot. If the option to enable secure boot not shown, save changes and boot again to BIOS, then enable the secure boot. BIOS settings and boot options are different from computer to computer based on firmware or hardware manufacturer. So you have to search for boot and related options in all panels, or search Google to see how to change boot mode in your specific PC model. Navigate to exit panel and click on exit saving changes option to boot into Windows. The first boot will take longer time, so be patient. Second part, how to enable trusted platform module, TPM. Boot into BIOS settings as instructed previously, or reboot into BIOS settings from running Windows as followings. Press and hold the shift key from keyboard. Right click on start icon then select shutdown option. Click on restart while holding the shift key down. Click on troubleshoot, then click on advanced options. Select UEFI firmware settings then click on restart. Navigate to security or system security panel and enable trusted platform module if available. The path to TPM settings is different from PC to PC. Third part, how to prepare supported computer to receive automatic upgrade. If your computer meets the minimum requirements, there are additional requirements in order to automatically upgrade to Windows 11, which are 
it must be running the most current version of Windows 10. The Windows 10 must be activated. It should have at least 35 GB free space on the C or Windows partition. To check if the PC is running the most recent version of Windows 10 do the followings. Right click on Start icon and select, Settings option. Click on Update and Security option. If you have updates that are pending install or pending restart, restart your computer to install those updates. If there are no pending or available updates, click on Check for Updates option to see if there is any new update to install it. If you don't have enough free space on the C partition, you can move or delete videos, games, or any large files from the C partition to another partition or to external disk, including files in desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, and videos folders. Right click on Recycle Bin and click on Empty Recycle Bin option. If you still need extra disk space, remove temporary and unnecessary files using Disk Cleanup Tool as followings. Type Clean MGR into search box and open Disk Cleanup Tool. The tool will open with the C as the selected partition by default. But you may need to select the C partition or another partition that has Windows logo manually then click OK. Click on Cleanup System Files option and reselect Windows partition again then click OK. Check all options then click OK to remove junk and temporary files. Fourth part, how to install Windows 11 in unsupported computers. If your computer doesn't support UEFI and TPM, you can bypass that by editing the appraisers file in the sources folder of Windows 11 as followings. Extract the ISO file of Windows 11 using WinRAR app. Open the extracted folder and then open sources folder. Right click on appraisers.dll file and then select edit with notepad plus or any text editor tool. You can download notepad plus and WinRAR tools from links in video description. Press Ctrl plus F keys from keyboard to open search dialog or click on search tab then select find option. Type TPM into search box. Click on find next icon or press enter from keyboard. Select the entire line that contains TPM string and press delete key from keyboard. Repeat previous two steps to delete any line containing TPM. To bypass UEFI and secure boot limit, replace the TPM on search box by UEFI and press enter. Delete any line containing UEFI secure boot string. Also you can download the appraisers.dll from links in description to replace the file in the sources folder in the extracted folder of Windows 11. Once you complete deleting all lines, click on save icon to save your changes. Return to extracted folder of Windows 11 and double click the setup file and follow instructions to start Windows 11 installation. As you can see, the setup is preceded now, but the option to keep personal files and apps is disabled, because the language of Windows 11 is different than default language of my installed Windows. So to avoid that, download the ISO file of Windows 11 with same language of your current Windows. If you want to do a clean installation of Windows by booting from the USB, do the followings. Download an ISO file for Windows 10 with the same regional language and same edition from the same source you have downloaded Windows 11. For example, if you have downloaded Windows 11 Professional in English United States language, you have to download Windows 10 Professional in English United States language in an X64 bits edition too. Because if you selected one Windows in English United States and the other in English United Kingdom, you will fail to install Windows 11 from USB in unsupported computer using this method. If you are downloading from Microsoft website, you will need to select the same regional language for both Windows, and to select X64 bits edition when installing Windows 10, because Windows 11 is available only in X64 bits edition. Once you have both Windows 11 and Windows 10 ISO files, open the Rufus tool and flash Windows 10 to the USB pen drive in compatible partition style. I.e. if you have a UEFI BIOS mode or GPT disk scheme, select GPT in partition scheme option, and if you have a legacy or MBR disk scheme, select the MBR option. Add any label to the USB if you want, otherwise click on start icon to start flashing process. Read the warning message carefully, then click on OK to continue. Double click the ISO file of Windows 11 to mount it. Open Sources folder and locate install.wim file. Copy install.wim file to Sources folder in the USB and replace the existing file. If didn't prompt to replace the file, 
you may need to convert install file of Windows 11 from WIM to ESD using DISM tool as followings. Type CMD into search box and open command prompt as administrator. Type this command to determine the index's numbers of available editions of Windows. Select the index number of desired edition if you have more than one index, otherwise use one if you have only one index as shown to extract it using this command. Replace J with the letter of mounted ISO file and replace the D with any partition in your computer. Go to destination folder and copy install.esd file to sources folder inside USB pendrive and replace the original file. Finally, boot from the USB and follow instructions from your screen to install Windows 11. If you are unfamiliar with Windows installation from USB, there is another video in description will show you how to install and customize Windows 11 step by step. If there are any new updates or extra steps for any method, we will add them to video description or to pinned comment, so read both of description and comments to stay on the right side. If you need help, add your question and we will help you. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a comment and subscribe.